Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 and our Smash the Patriarchy campaign. Uh, I noticed that it is 1149, so I might be able to change this. Yes, I can. All right, let's let's uh, let's go to Scholarship. We'll select that. I can build an observatory. Let me just wait for uh, traits to even out. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and build our observatory. I can't wait. Also, societies, not the Benedictine. I want to join the Hermetic Society. Greetings, Duke Asmodeus. We are delighted to learn that you have taken your first step towards enlightenment. The secrets of the corpus may be obscured to you now, but in time you may come to understand them as I have. Hold in thy mind all thou wouldst know, and Hermes, the thrice blessed, will teach thee. Signed, Magus Cangrande. This is what I desire to hear. I join the Hermetic Society. I can select an apprentice. So my esoteric knowledge is zero. This is the currency which, uh, which you can spend on the various powers unlocked by being a member of the Hermetic Society. You gain esoteric knowledge by completing missions, as well as on a monthly basis. The monthly gain depends on your stats and traits and are, that are associated with the Hermetic Society. So because I'm patient, I get plus one. Uh, because of my learning, I get plus 5.5. Um, I am a neophyte. Temple Vassal Opinion minus 10. Uh, initiate, uh, initiate Perform Scrying enables left-clicking on your character's portrait in order to turn to the mystical art of divination in an attempt to foretell the future. Power. Brew po uh, Potion of Eud Eudaimonia. Uh, enables right-clicking the portrait of any depressed or stressed character in your court in order to make them a potion that raises their spirits in exchange for esoteric knowledge. That's actually pretty cool. Make horoscope. Uh, enables right-clicking on uh, portraits of your children in order to make them a horoscope. And magus choose hermetic art. Enables right-clicking on your character's portrait in order to choose one of the three different arts within the Hermetics, allowing you to decide on your lifestyle. Uh, power, write a magnum opus. Enables right-clicking on your por own portrait in order to write an enciphered book of your knowledge. This is an artifact with potentially powerful bonuses, which only characters with high learning can decipher. Hmm. Neat. We have no active missions. Uh, let's see. The members... So he has 505. Learning 60. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a 20. So where am I? Probably at the bottom. 148. 133 and base 10. Plus 50% because I have patient. Ooh, that's pretty good. Please do not cost me patient. And I can take an apprentice. This is a special one. Uh, hermetic scholars may choose an apprentice in exchange for tutoring the apprentice. The apprentice will take care of one's laboratory and assist during experiments. Plus 10 opinion. Uh, plus 0.2 monthly salary. Uh, plus 0.2 monthly prestige. Uh, must not hold a temporary title. Is an adult. Uh, is a member of the Hermetic Society. Is not in a society. Okay, so they either must be a member of the Hermetics or not in any society in general. Not a prisoner, not in hiding, not in cave. Alright. Cool. Um, it's plus 10, so that's pretty powerful. Uh, <coughs> Alright, this guy's at 71, so... And he's got a really high learning. Let's bring him in. Yeah. I like that idea. Alright. Uh, let's see. I could invest in economic advance. Marshall has uh, decided to quit. Uh, I'm not going to go for church infrastructure. Construction is spreading, so I don't really want to spend on that. So is improved keep. So for now, I don't care. All right, Marshall. Um, I like you two guys being... Uh, 
Why are you in hiding? Why are you... Nah, well... When he comes out of that... I don't think there's any illness around here. I can hold a feast. I haven't done that in a little while. Let's do it. Uh, these guys keep kicking the Pope's butt. I think they might win. Because he is German. That's what's going on here. Italian Liberation Revolt. Uh, you must perform at my feast. Perfect entertainment. Uh, you've increased the power of the council. I'll spend lavishly on food. I hereby invite you. What? You've got a 92 opinion of me. And, y and you're not... Oh, you know what? Let's actually double check to see if anyone has uh, claims. Heir to the County of Modena. Well, I would want to wait until after that. Nope. No val valid Cassus Belli. Baden. Nope. Bavaria. Claim Kempton or Provence, which doesn't matter. All right. And your kingdoms. Yeah, that's that's part of Bavaria, not Italy. Daughter was born. All right. Uh, you are probably not going to have... You, yeah, you're not going to get that. Not that I care about that. Glassy is fine. Welcome to my feast. <laughs> Pope getting slaughtered again. 67% in favor. I haven't met a more fascinating person. Hey, and she's the one that doesn't like me. Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Fantastic! Um, my brother, I have a proposal which might interest you. An old letter detailing the possible locations of some lost hermetic writings came into my possession not many moons ago. If you fund an expedition, we can search for these treasures together. Oh, this is, uh, the Count. I actually kind of like the look of this copper ring around him. Um, alright, so, we, uh, accept the mission, find a hermetic text targeting Count Hildebrado of Brescia. If Duke Asmodeus sets out on one of the expeditions suggested by Count Hildebrando and finds an old hermetic text, the mission is completed. Okay, so how, what do I actually do? Like, right-click on you? I can invite him to stargazing. Ooh. Um... Well, invite to, I'll, I'll invite him to stargazing for now. Let's see what this does. Ah, okay, so it, it just... I had to wait for a, a pop-up. Uh, the letter mentioned three lost texts. A tome in a local an antiquary, a scroll hidden in a church uh, in a Prutium, and a tablet in the ancient library ruins of Copiore in... Terteroba. Where the hell is Terteroba? Oh, my lord. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let's see. So, 17 gold, 85% chance of a successful search, gain 100 esoteric knowledge, 14% chance that we fail. Uh, 71 gold, 
200 esoteric knowledge. 75% chance that we have a successful search. 179 gold, but 300 esoteric knowledge. Uh, for now, let's go for this one. I'll take just the 100 esoteric power. Your invitation arrived as a very pleasant surprise. I will, would be honored to study with you and prepare my journey shortly. Seljuk Revolt. It's always fun. Uh, let's see. Alright, so the Kaiser has uh, decided to help out Pisa. Neophyte Ildebrando and I searched every shelf and chest in the dusty old shop. For days on end, we did nothing but breathe dust and leaf through boring old texts. They were all full of nonsense. On the fourth day, I was thus incredibly surprised to lay my eyes on the symbols of the Three Primes. I think I found the tome! Holy cow! Holy cow! Look at all those troops. My guest Count Ildebrando has finally arrived. I've been looking forward to the two of us getting together and reviewing and review the work of each other. There's still some time before nightfall, however. I have a few suggestions on how we could spend the time. A perfect location in mind. How about a small feast in your honor? Time not spent studying is time lost. Um a perfect location. Your observatory is finally ready. It is with great anticipation that you prepare to make your first observations. Uh, levy shifted tribal obligation laws. Seriously? Whatever. As we walked to the hill of my choice, not far away. Once the, uh, we walked to the hill of my choice, not far away. Once there, Count Ildebrando took a moment to look at the hill in the sky above. This hill would suit our needs perfectly, I think. He said while nodding approvingly. We quickly decided on where to set up in order to be able to see as much as possible. It is all about location, location, location. Night is almost upon us, and the first stars are finally making themselves visible in the sky outside. I should tell Count Ildebrando it, that it is time. Time to see if we can uncover new secrets. We should get ready! Oh, holy crap! After several hours of studying the stars, I saw it, a sphere moving slowly across the sky with a long tail behind it. I called for Count Ildebrando to get his, to get his attention. We both marveled at the beauty of it. The beauty of it for a while. It is clearly something divine about it, Ildebrando said after a moment of silence. I could only nod my head in agreement. Twenty-five piety and thirty technology points in each in each realm. I mean, admittedly, I got a crap ton of uh, uh, economy points already, and, and you know. But, uh, 90 tech points is fantastic. After spending, an, after spending two night together with Count Ildebrando, I feel like we have become quite close. We seem to complement each other perfectly, and the both of us are having a really good time. I have gained a new friend. Ooh. I wonder if there's anyone else in my court that I could do this with. Alright, you like me, you don't. Cannot invite you stargazing. Probably aren't going to be other people that I can invite. They probably have to be on uh, the same focus or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, he's also on the scholarship focus, so that's probably why. Um, I wish you could search by people who were on the scholarship focus and stuff like that. You guys had any kids yet? You have not had any kids yet. I am disappointed. Dawn is upon us 
As the first light appears on the horizon, I think we can agree that the night was an immense success. We took plenty of notes and learned a thing or two. Maybe we have... Maybe we will have an opportunity to continue our combined research in the future. Let us do this again sometime. Okay, I probably have to wait a little while. Don't see anything specific about that, though. Hold a summer fair. Let's go ahead and do that. I really want to get the uh, prosperity in my uh, realm to increase. <laughs> Holy Roman Empire co comes down here and it's like, nah, let's not go that way. It's probably going to go through Rome or something. All right, Pope likes me more. Stables have been constructed. Fantastic. I think I'll wait until I have some more money, though. I'm get I am getting a crap ton of money. I love it. Hey, my wife is pregnant. All right, about time. You've spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It is truly fascinating. There are so many questions to ask. How do the stars move? Is there something strange out there? Um, I think I'll go for this one. This one, uh, this one can be fun, but I'm I'm going to hold off on that for now. That city is independent. Oh, it was probably part of Genoa, that's why. Alright, Lombardy has died. You are a member of the Benedictine Order. That is kind of amusing. Dirty hands, oh my. And a lunatic. So you are Italian, that is good. Just wanted to make sure of that. Uh, I don't think I need to hold a feast right now, though. I'm kind of surprised you guys are not, like, Assaulting this these last holdings here. Oh, there we go. Got two more there. Now you're going to go try to take them back. <laughs> My brother in the Hermetic Order, Paul, has stepped forth with an idea for a ritual that might invoke the presence of a divine being. The prospect of petitioning the divine itself for knowledge is a tantalizing is tantalizing, and the idea was therefore received with excitement in the order. The ritual will take place in a few weeks' time. Secrets of the world shall be laid bare to us. What if we anger the being? Um, no. No, it's, uh, the secrets of the world shall be laid bare to us. What's the worst that could happen? My liege's council is discontent. It's always fun. Uh, what are you asking? You knew, uh... Oh, yeah. New, uh, Holy Roman Emperor. Uh, you want to make me marshal. Do I want to be marshal? Guess I can be marshal for a little while. My brother, I have a proposal which might interest you. An old letter detailing possible locations of some lost blah blah blah. Okay, let's, uh... Let's accept that. I have the best news. Since our last correspondence, I have acquired a map leading to a surviving chamber of the great library in Alexandria. While the previous options remain, a tome here in Florence, a scroll in Spoleto, and tablet in Sicily, 
I would argue that this opportunity is too great to pass up. Excellent indeed. We shall go to the Library of Alexandria. Uh, 1,000 esoteric knowledge, but there it has the greatest chance of failing. Only 42% chance of success. And 350 gold. Well, I don't know how often this will come up, but it seems like a decent uh, uh, thing to try out. Um, I'm sitting on a buttload of cash, so... You have arrived at my court. Why? I don't know. Who cares? Oh! That is why. And he becomes a prince bishop. Observing the movements of the stars at night, you have begun to see some regular patterns. These observations, however, have raised many new questions. You're starting to wonder, for example, if the Earth is really at the center of it all. Interesting. Oh, 20% chance that I gain diligent. Ah, damn it. Summoning the Divine. Oh, it's the exact same picture. The time for the ritual come has come, and your order has congregated... In a spacious room, symbols scatter the floor as you chant your hymns. Adept Paul has provided you with a new, with a new special type of incense that he claims is necessary to make the eventual connection with the divine being. Before long, it has permeated the air, and as you inhale more and more of it, hearing the drone of your fellow's chants, you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend. Until it seems to connect with something, an entity touches your soul. Though you cannot perceive it with any sense other than your mind's eye, it must be the divine being. You have succeeded. You struggle to control your emotions and to coalesce your, all your thoughts into one burning question that you pose to this being. Let's see. Oh, divine, pray tell me the operation of the sun. Operation of the stars, operation of the gods. Tell me the secrets hidden throughout the world. Ooh. Hmm. There is There are no tool tips here. I am not sure which one I want to take. Secrets throughout the world are kind of, uh... Kind of calling to me. Let's do it. Secrets hidden throughout the world. Let's hope this doesn't fail. I have a new heir. Oh, okay, there we go. I was wondering why it wasn't going to let me name him. All right, well, we uh, we don't want him to be called Giano. Where is my PDF? Uh, let's go for... Let's see. Something that seems fun. Titavillus. Oops. There we go. So let's see. You have not created the duchy yet. Pope still exists, of course. He still has uh, Archbishop of Latium. He still has the Barony of Benevento. Well, oh, Pope's down here now. <laughs> Second Liberation uh, Revolt of Lotharingia. Why is there a Bishop doing this? Oh, probably because it spawned here in Liege. The Divine Being has given me cryptic advice on the decryption of hidden secrets throughout the world, but with ample time spent mulling it over afterwards, I believe I have deciphered what it meant. I look forward to putting it to good use. I get Intrigue plus three, a Divine Advice. Ah, okay. So probably the other th ones will give a, a boost to other stats. A 
The Duchess of Savoy is found at the Independence faction. Um, I'm not sure that I want to... I mean, I, I do want Independence, but I'm not sure that I want Independence yet. And he returned the papacy. That will prevent this from slipping into, uh, um, this duchy from slipping into the kingdom of Rome, though. He still has, uh, did he give the entire county back? He did. Wow. And there are 18,000 troops now that I, uh, well, it looks like I'm not going to be taking that land anytime soon. We had a jolly great time dressed up as wild men, dancing chained together and appearing shaggy and hairy from head to foot. Too bad the fun was interrupted when a careless person set us on fire. Oh, God. Is this because I'm a lunatic? Uh, I will be maimed. I will be severely injured. A uh, 60% chance of gaining wounded. I was saved from uh, any greater harm by a courtier. Some fool poured spirits over me. Alright, let's go for this one. And, oh. Oh, oh wow. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. Aurelio of Venetian peasant... Oh. There goes Venice. Did immediately get to... Uh... Okay, well, on the upside, this, do this means that it, it sticks with being a... Um... You know, a, a a republic rather than because uh, that would always flip it over to just being a uh, um, you know standard feudal realm. Uh, let's see, tax shifted burger obligation laws. Um, Let's see, uh, you're an unknown, you're an unknown, you're a no. I'm going to decline that, I think. I'm not sure if that spreads down to me. No, actually, I don't care. We'll go with it. I'll approve it. You seek to see someone dead. How about you... Okay, you're already... Ending that plot. Consumption is broken out in Corsica. Oh, don't come, don't come to me. The research you conduct in your obs in your observatory at night is proving deeply fascinating. You could push your studies further, but you'd need to purchase more equipment for it to be meaningful. Must move forward. Thirty gold. Hell yeah. And what do you want? Uh, please support me by voting with me in the council. If you agree to this, I will henceforth owe you a favor. Do I care? And Kona. Highly suspicious. Known Satanist. Hmm, I feel like maybe that might not be the best of ideas. We've got a longsword. You're an impaler. You're clearly evil. And Anselm is now incapable. Um, what would I? Why would I want a a favor from this guy? I mean, I could force him to uh, send someone to my court if I wanted, but I don't know that I do. I'm going to decline that. And it is about time to end the episode anyway, so 
when we return, um, we are going to you know, think about uh, hopefully getting some more land. We just need one county. One single measly county. I will take any any of these counties. This one, this one, this one, this one. Hell, these. Not these, because I am not going to fight this uh, uh, massive, massive army. That is insane. That is just insane. Ugh. It's terrible. Anyway. Um... Yep, that'll be next time. See you then, everyone.